blessed day guys and peace be upon you this morning so in this video we are going to do villain hoping attacks prevention through which you're going to cover how to configure switch port no negotiation and to disable cdp on switches all right okay so before we get deep let's open google spreadsheet and let you know that you are in these two 11 and 12 they are going to we are going to cover them together right we are going to cover the two together right okay so i'll go back to my care package sir and open the ppt so that you can understand what villain hoping attacks are and the mechanisms of how to prevent them so villain hoping attack as i explained here is a method of attacking the network resources of the villain by sending packet to a port not usually not usually accessible from an end device right the main goal of this form of attack is to gain access to other villains on the network so in villain hoping attacks you don't need a router to communicate uh, between different villains by default different villains do not communicate by default you need a router or layer 3 device okay but when you employ this kind of attack villain hoping attack you know the villains will communicate without any layer 3 device so whenever something that is not supposed to happen is happening then that's a security risk we need to prevent that kind of a scenario from happening in our network how to prevent villain hoping attacks in our network right okay so i go back to ppt and explain further so this normally occurs uh, uh through the two ways double tagging where let's say an attacker is in villain 10 right and the attacker wants to attack villain 20. so an attacker is double tagging the frame encapsulating villain 20 inside villain 10 okay double tagging then another one is called switch spoofing this opens this happens through this this protocol dtp packets okay so there are a lot of things that you need to understand about uh villain hoping attacks right so in this video is just a recap i don't need to explain too much about it okay just a recap right okay because this notes i'll send them over the email all right so preventing double tagging uh uh includes three step we have to make sure that no port is left in the default VLAN one. Then we have to make sure that there is a native VLAN that is uh, that is assigned to a trunk port. Okay. Then we need to explicitly tag uh, tagging of the v, of the native VLAN should be enabled on for all trunk ports. Okay. All right. So this is a sample way of of how to configure. Uh, how to prevent villain hoping attacks right very very simple so i'll go back to our packet tracer and explain uh, a little bit so i drew this topology here so you can also draw this topology because i have not i didn't do any configuration just a topology okay it's a very raw topology okay so in this topology you can see uh, we have in a uh, villain 10 20 and 30 by default these devices cannot communicate with either of these devices also this this one cannot communicate with this one also this one with this one this one why because they belong to different villains but when an attacker comes here because it's villain 30 and he wants to attack villain 20 he or she will double tag the frame encapsulating villain 20 inside villain 30 okay all right so that's what we want to prevent in this scenario so i already alerted a few steps to help us achieve this objective number one is to draw the necessary topology decorate and command i've done that you see okay number two to create villains and name them one for hosts and one as native remember the native villain will be used between or for the trunk ports right so in every switch we need to create villains and name them so here we're going to create villain 10 and uh, the native villain but the native villain should be the same in all the switches 
okay all right so i go here and uh, come to cli enable uh config team uh villain 10 villain 10 name let's say that's it department exit then villain uh villain uh let's say villain 33 okay and uh, name to be native this is for trunk okay all right so we go to the other switches and con co co configure villains so here enable uh config team. villain 20 now here uh name hr uh, exit uh, villain uh, 33 name native okay exit and finally we do here also okay villain 30 and the native villain make sure the native villain is the same in all the switches okay enable config t uh, villain villain 30 name let's say finance fin exit uh, villain 33 uh, name to be native okay okay so we are done with the second step so we're done with the creating villains and naming them one for host and one for villain native villain so the native villain should be the same in all the switches number three identify access ports assign them villain ids and issue no negotiate command command on these ports okay all right so why do we need to uh this uh, issue the no negotiate command on all the ports so let's say an attacker comes and connect to any of the ports okay and uh, maybe they want uh, to negotiate so that that port can form track to allow access of multiple villain so when we issue the no negotiate command you know the port will not participate in uh, sending cdp or uh, dtp dynamic trunking protocol frames that are mainly used for uh, forming trunk interfaces right okay so we need to do that very very fast so that this port should not participate in any trunk formation no negotiate command so that this port should not uh, participate in any trunk formation because the moment they participate in trunk formation they can allow passage of multiple vlan we just want them to access one vlan and to never negotiate anything okay all right so we go here and the first thing we do let's identify the access ports access ports are the ports that are not shouldn't should never be trunk so trunk ports you can see it's fa1 fa2 fa3 fa3 and fa4 i believe yeah so from fa1 to fa4 this should be trunk and now from fa05 to fa24 and also gig 01 and gig 02 should be access ports so we go here and say interface range fa0 slash 5 to 24 okay and also comma gig 0 slash 1 to 2 okay switch port mode mode access so we make them access right then the statement says uh assign them villain ids and issue no negotiate command so let's assign them villain id just say switch port uh access vlan 10 on this side right okay then we issue no negotiate command switch port and uh, no negotiate then we query nothing we enter just like that we are done there we exit okay we go to this switch and do the same so i'll do well, the thing i'll just do this i'll copy uh this this range because i made my things uniform from FA1 to FA4 should be trunk in all the switches you can see also here. So from FA5 to 24 and gig 01 to 2 should be access port just like that. Then you make them access first. So switch port mode access. Okay. Then to access VLAN here is VLAN 20. Okay. Then switch port access VLAN 20. Okay. Then no negotiate so that they don't participate in any trunk formation right okay so switch port no negotiate and you hit enter that's all you come to this switch and the range is the same i made it uniform okay 
make them access ports switch port mode access first okay then switch port uh, access vlan 30 in this case right okay after doing that switch port no negotiate very simple exit so we're done with that so we go to step four with switch highlights identify and configure trunk ports assign them native vlan and issue no negotiate command on these ports very very simple we identify trunk we as uh, we configure them we assign them native vlan and issue no negotiate command okay all right so we go here and uh interface the transfers are from fa124 if you want for if you want to if you zero slash one to four interface range interface range okay then switch port mode switch port mode trunk and you hit enter then switch port trunk native vlan to be vlan 33 you remember we created vlan 33 in all the switches right Okay, then switch port, no negotiate, and you hit enter. That's all. Another thing that we need to see there, uh, send them native villain, configure trunk, send, send them native villain, and issue, no negotiate command. Very, very simple, guys. Very, very simple. Okay, so what I need to do is just to copy this range, paste the range, and paste, this is the range that I need to copy here. Yeah. And to do them in all other switches, so we come here. guys we are almost done preventing uh villain hoping attacks okay so when i go back here i go back to the config uh, configure steps we are being to disable cdp in the devices remember in in this statement we say that one of the way through which uh, villain hoping attacks uh, is achieved is switch spoofing where it involves sending CDP uh, CDP packets to negotiate a trunk with the switch. So we need to disable this mechanism so that it's no longer used in the devices. Okay. All right. So let's do that. Disable CDP in all the devices. So I just go here and say. Uh, no cdp run very simple and do right i come back here and say no cdp run do right we're done and finally here no cdp run do right so we are done we're done preventing vlan hoping attacks and all the access ports they cannot be accessed uh, through vlan hoping attacks right okay because we have configured no negotiate no negotiation then we've disabled cdp on the switches and also made we've made sure that uh the trunk is using native vlan which is 33 and not the default vlan okay all the switches are also are in respective vlan ids right so if you can just say uh just a simple command do show um cdp something like that oh cdp is not enabled so what i want to say do show start you can see from fa1 from fa1 to fa4 you can see switch port trunk native vlan 33 then mod to be trunk then no negotiate right okay so let's go from five to something so you can see there in the configured vlan their access ports are there no negotiation right okay then i want to see the no cdp run no cdp run is here okay all right so thank you so much guys i'll go back to um google spreadsheet and mark the two as done Yes.
uh, share with friends like this video drop a comment below and please subscribe to my channel see you again guys and bye